There's new software out for the Stream Deck, Stream Deck version 5.0, and it's a great release with some really neat new features, and I'm gonna tell you all about them in this video. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name is Alec, and yeah, today we're talking about Stream Deck again, one of my two favorite subjects these days, uh, coupled with Ecamm Live. <laughs> but anyway, uh, today there has been a new release of the uh, software that you use to control your Stream Deck, and it has got some really nice new features in it. So I thought I'd just give you a quick walkthrough to show you uh, what to expect, and uh, also if you're new to Stream Deck, the sorts of things that you can do with it. So without further ado, I'm gonna get straight on over into the demo and show you uh, what's in store. So if I come over to my uh, screen sharing, here I've loaded up the uh, Stream Deck interface. Uh, I'm not gonna do a whole sort of uh, overview of Stream Deck and how it works and what it is, but I'll link to a video I did about that in the uh, top corner and also in the description down below. And in fact, anything that I mentioned today uh, will be linked to in the description as well. So the main thing that they have added into Stream Deck with this update is they've added a store feature. Now, first of all, before we get to that, I suppose I should tell you how to actually do the update just in case it wasn't immediately obvious. So what you need to do is go over to your uh, Stream Deck and you'll see this little cog wheel. Uh, if you're on the previous version, you won't have this pretty little icon here, but we'll get to that one in a moment. <laughs> so come over, click on the cog wheel and that will drop a uh, or open up rather a preferences uh, window much like this if you're on a Mac on Windows it may look a bit different in fact from for a, uh, a Mac the uh, Stream Deck application I'm sure you know if you are a Stream Deck user but sits up in the menu bar whereas I believe on Windows it is more like a sort of standalone application but I'm using a Mac so that's what I'm going to talk through today so uh, yeah, in the uh, preferences, you'll see this big check for updates button just up at the, uh, the top. But before you press that, <laughs> it's always a good idea, isn't it, to make sure that you are fully uh, backed up. So what we want to do is actually come into our profiles section, and then you'll see your list of profiles down the side. And then if you right click on a profile and then click uh, backup all, then we're gonna create a backup of all of our uh, profiles. And so that means uh, then that in, in case there's any issue with the update, then you can always revert back to your original. Uh, it, it's not so much the original version of the software we're, we're, we are worried about, but it's more the actual, all of the actions and things you've set up. And in fact, if you're not doing that already, it's good to get into the routine of just doing that on a fairly regular basis, as and when you obviously change your icons or your uh, uh, your actions that you've got there just to make sure because sometimes things can go wrong uh, so always good to have that backup so assuming you've done that then you come back to the uh, general tab at the top here and so we click on there and then click on check for updates incidentally there's also a firmware version down here and if you see a little update sing symbol next to that then you can also update the firmware of your stream deck while you're at it so when you click on the update, uh, check for updates, it will look for the latest version. Uh, presumably you'll be on four point something. Uh, and then yes, you can just download the update, install it as you would normally on a Mac, and it will just come straight back into Stream Deck and you'll be ready to go. So what is the uh, main new features that they've added? Well, you'll be familiar with how you can have, uh, if you're a Stream Deck user, you've got all of these different sets of actions that you can add into your Stream Deck. And uh, just in case you're not, then basically, yes, all of these buttons have actions assigned to them. And in these folders, there are various different actions that we can add to each button. But again, I'll do a full explainer about the ins and outs of exactly how to set this up. This video is just about the new features. So if you are familiar with this, uh, then previously you'll be, you'll, you will remember that in order to add other groups of predefined actions uh, from different developers or from Elgato themselves who make the Stream Deck, uh, there used to be a button down here which was the, uh, the plugins uh, library where you could add in extra plugins. Well, that has now disappeared from here. And as I mentioned, we've got this little icon up here. So we're gonna click on this and this will open up this rather pretty new window. I think the interface already looks a lot better than the old one. And they've got some different tabs down the side. And the 
sort of landing page, the splash page that you come to is this one with a, it's got a welcome to stream deck. You can click on that and it's got an overview of all of the new features in there. So if you want to read some of the finer details from Elgato themselves, you can do that in there. Uh, then it's also got some sort of featured pages. So it's going to feature different plugins and I'm presuming that these will change over time to feature different plugins that you can get. And uh, yeah, it's just a little, you can click on each one. Elgato Wave is Elgato's range of microphones. So they've got the, uh, all of the uh, microphone controls and showing you how to do that in there. So it's just a nice little landing page with uh, some sort of useful guides for people who are new to uh, the software perhaps. The next one we come to is plugins. Now this is basically the same sort of library that we had before uh, that was accessed at that uh, sort of lower area where I pointed out earlier. Um, and it doesn't look like there's been many new additions here. It's just basically moved the whole of that interface into this little window. So yes, there are this range of different uh, controls that you can add into your uh, stream deck. And so, yeah, it seems like it's pretty much the same as we had before. And you can also arrange them as in show all of them, or you can click down through these different subsections. So show only the audio ones, for example. And uh, yeah, you can search for them that way. Uh, but the other thing that they have added into here is something which I'm quite excited about is the icons, because that's always a problem for people is uh, having nice icons for their stream decks if they're the uh, default ones aren't to their liking uh, and to be honest with you the actual defaults from uh, stream deck were never that good <laughs> um, they were reliant on getting icons from third parties so it's good to see that they have built in more uh, more icons into here so let's go and have a look at how this works I'm sure that this library of icon packs will expand over time and uh, they call it a stream deck store but at the moment everything in here is free it seems so uh, I'm sure there will be, there will be a way later for uh, sort of third party developers and third party de designers to add in their, uh, their um, icon packs and things like that but for now we've got a number of different packs and as you can see I've installed a couple of them and to install it was much like it was before with the plugins you just simply choose a pack so I'm not sure what this one is but if we click on it it will show us so you can click on there you can see what the uh, the icon packs are and then you can uh, click out of it or you can just click install in here so if I install it says do you want to install this pack uh, again, much like it did with the uh, plugins, and now you can see we've got a little uh, download uh, symbol coming up here, and it's just going to install them on our uh, computer. So I'll show you how we actually activate those and how we actually use them in our uh, uh, Stream Deck because it's pretty easy as well. So there we go, that one is downloading. So uh, yeah, as I say, there are a few different icon packs in here and then you can just click into all of them have a look what is involved in them or included in them and then download them so we'll look at activating those after because i'll just go through the other features in here because the other thing that is a really good feature that i was not expecting at all is they've actually added uh music and sound effects as well so that means that you can download music from within stream deck that you can use in your productions and on youtube and i've checked and the licensing is the case that you can actually use this music as i say in your youtube video so that is a great little feature to have built into stream deck uh, so yeah let's have a little look it's got a i'm not sure exactly how many songs there are available although here it says 10,000 plus so <laughs> i think that's safe to say that there's more than enough to be uh, to be going on with <laughs> so uh yeah we can search by genre in a similar way than you could with things like epidemic and so on epidemic sound uh, and then there's different, you know, choose by instrument and so on. But let me just grab anyone at random. I've already tried this out myself. So I'll just download this next one. Obviously, you can uh, preview it. In fact, what I need to do is just share my system audio. Otherwise, you won't be able to hear anything. Uh, one second. Let me do that. There we go. So if I play this now, hopefully you can hear that in the background. So we can test this uh, song out and see which ones we like. Uh, Obviously, you can do, um, as I showed you, you can just ch choose by genre. You can filter uh, lots of different genres of music. But let's just, for the sake of argument, we'll just grab this one. So I'm going to click on download. And that should just start downloading in much the same way as the, uh, the icon pack did. And then the other thing that we've got in here is uh, sound effects. I'll show you how to obviously use all of these afterwards. But next, we've got sound effects. So within the sound effects, once again, you've got a whole library of different sound effects and we can search by uh, categories 
Uh, it's just having a little think about it there. Search by categories for the sort of sound effect you're looking for. Uh, and then once again, it's very simple interface. You can just play them to uh, test them. A little scratch record there. Let's have that one for the sake of argument. There we go. We'll download this one. Now, incidentally, uh, if you want to know where these are, it also where they're stored on your uh, Mac, it also shows you up here. So you click on open library and it will bring up a finder window. Uh, probably on another monitor of mine, no doubt. There we go. Let me drag that over. So it shows you that they're actually sort of quite deep within the application, actually. So it's uh, in application support, Elgato Stream Deck, audio, and then you've got your things listed there. And this is where your plugins are stored. Normally, you don't normally see these things, but fortunately, again, you don't need to remember this path because it sort of does it all for you. But it's nice to know where they are just in case you want to make a backup from them from here or in case you want to actually use these in your video. So say you're editing and you want to use this video in uh, by manually placing it. I'm assuming that you'll be able to just come and find it from within here and then add it into your production that way as well. But let's show you how you can actually activate all of these things from Stream Deck because that's obviously the point of it. So let me close this down. Uh, we've downloaded that. So now I've shown you the uh, discover tab, the plugins, the icons, the music and the sound effects. And I'll show you it's much easier to see these icons, by the way, in the uh, Stream Deck application itself. So here is my uh, current Stream Deck. This is what I have set up for when I'm using Ecamm Live with all of my different scenes and things like that, such as this one over here. Good time to press it, I think. If you are finding this uh, video useful, then don't forget to go and hit the uh, like and subscribe button so you'll be notified of any future videos I make. I have actually got a Stream Deck playlist and I'm starting to fill that out with all of the different uses that I have for Stream Deck. And so, yeah, if you click that notification button and the uh, uh, turn on those notifications rather, then you'll be alerted whenever I make a new video. So, yeah, I've got uh, I've cleared a couple of spaces here so that I've got spaces for two new buttons because these are the ones that I want to show you. So uh, obviously we've got all of the old actions that we could previously do. So I'm not going to go into all the different plugins and things like that because there's nothing actually as far as I can see new in that respect. It's just a new way of accessing the plugins. But the new things that we have got are those audio clips and the icons. So what I thought I'd do is I'd make two new actions to activate those two uh, audio clips that we've just downloaded. So for what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my side panel and here you can see we've got a soundboard. This is the one that we want to activate those sounds. So I'm going to click on here and then we're going to just play audio. So we're actually going to play two audio clips, aren't we? So I'll just drag two of those in and uh, let me grab another one. There we go. I'm looking at it on my preview window of my Ecamm Live, but I should be looking at it on the screen. It's always a lot easier that way, isn't it? <laughs> so then I'll come down here and yeah, if I come to here and we're going to click on file. So if we click on choose, uh, what you'll notice with a bit of luck is that it actually opens in that folder that I mentioned earlier. So as a default, it appears that it opens up in the uh, the folder where you've downloaded all your audio tracks from. So before it used, used to open up in a, in your default uh, finder folder, whereas now it actually opens up yeah, in this folder that uh, it's downloaded all your audio to. So let's see, I think one of them was this record scratch. So let's click on that and click on open. And now when I press that button on my stream deck, which I'm going to do now, oh. I hope you heard that sound. <laughs> so then let's add the other one in as well, just to show you again. So we click on the, uh, once we've clicked on the icon, we click on this choose button and it should open up this one. And I think it was this one. I might be right. I think it was that one that we, uh, we downloaded, but anyway, it still shows you the same thing. You can change the uh, title on top of the icon. Uh, so let me go back to this one and just let's call that one uh, scratch. So I'm just going to leave the text as it is for now. I'm not going to bother changing that because we're going to actually put one of our new icons on there, aren't we? So the way that you do that is you will be familiar uh, with uh, the uh, way that you update the icons previously was that you just simply dragged an image over the top of this little highlighted area here to update the um, uh, the icon for the active 
action that you've highlighted. So here we can just change between these two. And so if I want to update the icon for that, I would simply drag on the, uh, the, uh, the icon that we wanted to use. There was also this drop down where you could go to create new icon, and that would take you through to the uh, web interface that allowed you to design your own icons. Personally, I always found that a bit of a uh, poorly designed website and not really very uh, intuitive or user friendly to the uninitiated. <laughs> so anyway, Fortunately, they have simplified this process now. Uh, we now have this little uh, plus button up in the top corner, and here you can click on this, and it will bring up this nice new icon library. And in here, you have access to these. Uh, if you did use that web interface, you'll be familiar with these uh, ones that we've got at the top. These are the uh, Elgato Stream Deck icon uh, packs that you could always have access to uh, from the beginning. But now, if we uh, come down further, what you'll see is those icon packs that we uh, we downloaded earlier, or that one that I downloaded earlier, was this one, this Legion. And so that now has appeared in our list of icon packs. These are three others that I tried out just to test the process. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll click on this one that we chose. And as you can see, it should just populate with all of the icons in the icon pack. And here, as you can see, we can clearly uh, just preview them all and see what they all look like. And let's say for that sound, we wanted to uh, just click this little play button, for example. So I'll just click on that one. And as you can see, as simple as that, it has changed the uh, button. So now let's come out of this one and I'll just remove the title actually because if you have got buttons like here, I don't like to have the titles over the top of them. I just let the icon tell me what it's for. So if you ever want to remove the text from the button, just simply come over here. You can actually just delete it from the title, uh, but I always prefer to leave the title in just so that when you're going through them, if, in case you're ever unsure what it is, then you still have the title in the uh, Stream Deck uh, application interface but we want to take it off the actual machine itself so we'll click on here and just uncheck that show title and as you can see it's now removed from the button but we can still see what it is so something like this where you've got lots of sound effects it would just be clear which ones you were looking at so let's just try that again just to show you the process with this other sound effect so we're going to come down here click on the little uh, plus arrow so when I click on that one maybe this one this was an actual music track so perhaps I can click on that one and now we've got our little icon there. Uh, once again, just come over to here, delete the show title. And now we've got our two buttons. And if I press them, we've got our music button. I've just pressed, it's bringing in the music. And if I press the play button here, that's gonna play our sound effect over the top of it. So you can play multiple things at the same time. And if I wanna pause the music, I'll just press that button again. There we go. Ruin the party again. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> uh, now, a couple of things to note about these icon packs is it's obviously brilliant that this is all built in and it does allow people to go and, you know, they've got a much bigger uh, initial library to work with. And I'm sure with all of these different packs, there will be uh, something in there that you can use. But if you're a bit a... Uh, a bit more OCD like me, <laughs> you may want to have things such as, you know, all of your uh, icons being in the uh, same colors, or in fact, I have mine so that when thing when scenes are toggled on and off, then the actual thing changes. So you can see I'm in my screen sharing mode here at the moment. Uh, but if I flick over to my main screen, uh, what will happen is I'll just flick back a minute. What you'll see is it will change from the main screen back being active to the desktop. So let me go back again. You'll You'll see there's a little moment where it flicks from one to another. So the way that you do that in uh, Ecamm Live, by the way, uh, the Ecamm Live uh, plugin for uh, Stream Deck, which if you haven't got it, is amazing. It's probably one of the most comprehensive uh, plugins that I've seen for the Stream Deck, to be honest. They've got a huge number of uh, actions that you can perform from within here to control your Ecamm Live, which is great. It means you can do pretty much everything from within uh, Stream Deck. There's very few things that, uh, functions that you might want doing a live production with Ecamm Live uh, that you can't uh, just sort of program directly into your Stream Deck. But in any case, just in case you weren't aware, when you have things that are sort of uh, a toggle between, in this case, scenes. So the scene is either going to be an active scene or non-active scene. What you'll notice is on the button itself, it has two different uh, states. So you can see that I can click here and change between these two. So I've simply put in different colored icons depending on the state. So then it means that when I look down at my stream deck, it also gives me a visual cue of exactly which scene I've got that is running. And so, yeah, that's something that you can just be aware of. But with this, uh, 
new update, you can still change it to icons as you could before. But the problem is we don't have these sort of multiple colors and there isn't a way built in as yet to actually change things like the color back, uh, of background, which would be a great feature to add in so that as well as selecting an icon, you could select a background. Well, I've got you covered on this because <laughs> there's two things. First of all, I did a video about how you can actually create your own icons using Keynote and it's pretty easy to do to be honest and it does allow you to do this thing where you can create multiple different uh, background colors and things like that and so yeah I'll leave a link to that video in the description and I'll pop one up into the top corner as well uh, but also yesterday as thing as it would happen uh, I actually uploaded a new 3000 icon pack to my store and obviously it's funny isn't it you upload an icon pack to your store and then the next day Elgato releases an update with uh, icons yeah. built in but there you go the thing that is different about my icon pack is that it's got basically it's 3000 icons let me just be absolutely clear it is 150 different uh, glyphs different um, pictograms uh, in 20 different colors and the reason I've done it like that is because you can have these 20 different colors so that you can match it with the color of your uh, uh, the, the the other icons on your stream deck but also you have these sort of multi colors if you want things for toggling them on and off so we've got sort of light and dark shades of various colors so if you want to get a copy of all of those then they're available on my store for $15 for the whole pack and that is at takeonetech.io and then click the little store button just in the top corner but before you do that do go and have a look at that video about making your own because if you only need a few then it is quite simple to do um, so yeah I just thought I'd mention that though and yeah if you uh, if you haven't been to my uh, website already then as I say it is uh, takeonetech.io I need to get that off my face don't I I've changed my scene and then I've covered myself up with my own icon pack how rude is that <laughs> so yeah my website takeonetech.io I've got uh, links to the uh, the that in the description as well but there you will find my store, my blog. I've got links to all the gear that I use for making these videos. And uh, yeah, it's the uh, the best place you want to, to go to if you actually want to contact me as well. I've got a contact form on there. And then also there's a little chat bot that you can probably just see in which side is it <laughs> in the very bottom corner there as well. So yeah, if you do need to get into contact or got any questions about anything that I've covered, then you can ask them there or obviously in the comments below. But let's get back to the uh, Stream Deck uh, just to wrap up really to say that yeah it's a great update and if you haven't downloaded it then do download it it's uh, it installed effortlessly I didn't have any problems but don't forget to do that backup uh, if you found this video useful then uh, yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to support the channel the best way to do that is using my buy me a coffee link so uh, buymeacoffee.com slash take one tech now, incidentally, in case you're interested, this video was made using Ecamm Live. It is a live production environment for the Mac that allows me to do all the things that I've been doing in this video, all the scene transitions, bringing in different sound effects and things like that, allows me to do all of that uh, live with uh, very little effort on my part in fact linked with the stream deck it's uh, a match made in heaven and in fact I did a whole uh, four and a half hour tutorial on how you can go from a fresh install of Ecamm Live to having a full production environment having designed your overlays and everything like that as well and I'll leave a link to that video down below uh, it's a big one <laughs> so you may need to sit back and get a coffee and a few uh, few glasses of water handy uh, but yeah that one will take you through basically the whole setup process and a sort of like my workflow of how I make these videos so that may be of interest if you're a Stream Deck and Ecamm Live user. That's about all for this video though so uh, I hope you found it useful and yet yeah, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll leave a link to the uh, playlist for all of my other uh, Stream Deck uh, videos in the uh, left hand side here the right hand side but until next time have a great day